much talking to me like that. I have money and I'm here to spend it. I forgot to cover it. <laughs> Bow trees. Good morning. I am on the way to a tour with my old coworker. I'm supposed to be there at one o'clock. I'm gonna be there at 111. Technically, she doesn't even need me to be there because I can just send her and I would get a commission for it if she leases. That's the beauty of apartment locating. I should be on time. I just lost track of time. So I don't really get ready anymore these days. I just wear nothing. Low effort. That was very successful. <laughs> I got here and then she was already on the tour, so I didn't really have to do much. I just kind of sat and waited. And they came back, we talked everything through, and it was just cool. Let's go to the next place. That leasing office lady was so freaking nice. It's just really refreshing to talk to people that are just really, really genuine and really kind. But we probably won't end up here because it's not in the greatest area for her. We're going to the next place. The apartment was not even built. Can you see it? Not even built. But we were able to schedule an appointment to tour, which is weird. That's okay, we're going to reconvene and see what we can do. I never know which one to get. This is a tough one. Got the goods. Hi, I'm just calling to see if you guys are taking walk-ins right now. Awesome. Oh, kind of, yeah. We're about 10 minutes away. We'll be there soon. My name's Marissa. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, bye. Oh, my God, I know. I like but she seemed very, very nice and accommodating. So cool. Let's do this. <laughs> This is my favorite part. They got all the good stuff. This place was not the winner, unfortunately for her. Oh, why is she talking to me like that? <laughs> I know, I'm scared. <laughs> I was calling to see if you guys are taking walk-ins. Oh, okay, awesome, thank you so much. Hmm? Alrighty, bye. There's a lot of amazing options out here, so we're gonna go check out this other apartment complex. It's like brand new. It looks amazing. It must be like super new. We did a lot today. We saw a lot of apartments. The last one we went to is freaking gorgeous. It's not completed yet. I can't even show you anything because it's under construction. This apartment is going to be freaking phenomenal. Let me show you. Oh, splash water everywhere. Can you see the vision? It is freaking gorgeous. They just, they're really giving, I have money and I'm here to spend it. It's been a long day. Do you want to eat a snack with me really quick? I haven't eaten anything today and I already know that if I drive right now without eating these Twix, I'm going to lose my marbles, so. I don't even know how far I am. Ugh. Oh god. I mean, that's not bad. We'll just take a minute together. I'm just going to eat this one and then I'll eat the other one on the way. Cheers. I've been thinking about dyeing my hair a light brown. I feel like my personality matches the blonde hair, but I don't love the price tag. It is very expensive to have blonde hair. I don't have it like that. I should have gone right there. 
So I got my license in June 2021. I am now able to do a myriad of different things. Residential, apartment locating, also property management, appraisals. There are so many different subsections to it. I just chose apartment locating because I'm not a fan of driving around to different places all the time. Apartment locating is amazing and fantastic. It's remote for one. Two, you technically don't have to go and tour these people. Say something happens in the day and you can't make it to the apartment, you can still let them know to tell the apartment management team that their agent sent you. You'll still get credit for doing all the work on the back end. Oh, sh I forgot to exit. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I'm about to sit in so much traffic. I really, really have enjoyed having the freedom to do what I want and to pick what I want to do. So for instance, if I have a friend that's like, hey, I want to move into a home, can you help me? I can be like, yes, because I have a license and I can do all kinds of things. I really, really have just enjoyed this whole experience. It got me out of a really bad place. I was working a very toxic job and not only was it toxic in the work community, I got in a couple fist fights with some grown men and they literally just took one look at my face and were like, I hate you. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> It was actually two altercations and one group of guys that tried to rob me. Once I got attacked the second time, I was like, okay, I gotta go. Once I feel like my job is not taking care of me, paying me the income that I deserve for the work I'm putting in, I really do feel like life is very, very short. I don't want to have to have a job where I'm working really hard and I'm not making shit. They're treating me like shit while I'm at work. That just doesn't make sense to me. Going somewhere that is worth your time and your energy. There have been situations where I've had to stay in my my job keep working there my financial situation was not in my favor and I just had no option to leave I also believe that working those jobs and setting yourself up for the next job that's gonna take you somewhere else and propel you into a better place I think that's super important as well while I was working this extremely toxic job I was getting my license at the same time and I was in a little bit of debt but now I have like the freedom to just work whenever I want oh look at this you see the tree people like to dress up the trees out here it's really cute. I'll have somebody reach out. I'll ask them what their budget is, what their move date, how many bedrooms they're looking for. Once I have all the information, I can start going into my database, 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 searching different apartments in those specific areas. I like to get a general idea and then I expand the idea. Somebody might be open to moving five minutes away from what the location they were looking at. Just because the apartment's better, the price is better, like everything's better, they might be willing to do it. So I will always expand a little bit more just to help them find more options but I love it it's amazing I get to tour nice places and I get to see what I like and what I don't like freaking tired. Any food today? I just said we're gonna be late. We're gonna miss food so that we're not late. I ended up being late anyways. Wow! This is our first Christmas tree by the way. We've never had a Christmas tree before this. We had a little like small white Christmas tree and I put a couple of ornaments and lights on it and that was really cute but this is our, it's our cute little baby. Come here. So white flocked. We actually got this from Walmart and it was only like $89. We didn't go with the traditional star, we went with like a little bow. But I feel like it's really cute for our first tree. And also we're not even, we're just, we're not gonna talk about that or that one. We're gonna be replacing them with faux trees. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you. This is my little boba. Look how cute. 
because I love boba and I love matcha, so it's like perfect. This one is his. He got the little espresso. Uh, no, it's a oh, fridge press. We're eating oats. And I never seem to be able to make these properly, but I'm gonna do my best for you. It always says to do one cup, but every time I do one cup, it never absorbs enough. So I'm gonna just try this. I'm afraid that the microwave is gonna blow up if I put chia seeds in there. I don't know if that's rational. Two minutes. This is gonna sound really weird, but I like to put frozen fruit in my oatmeal because I just do. I'll typically wait until the oatmeal is done being cooked and then I'll put the fruit in the oatmeal and then I'll put it back in the microwave so that's extra cooked. Oh, I forgot to cover it. <laughs> I am sad. Um, hi. Oh, okay. I know you're not supposed to be in the kitchen. I'm sorry, pumpkins. Oh yeah, limp away. Dare I say that this oatmeal looks fantastic? It's done. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this real quick. I love my job, but I love my home more. <laughs> if I could be here all the time, I would be. So. I finally cooked it right. <laughs> I really want to give a shout out to a friend of mine. She's actually a new friend. Her name is Jade. She's a content creator. She really inspired me to just make content. I was originally going to make content differently without showing myself, but I wouldn't have known like how beautiful this connection is. Something about this feels really good. I'm just really excited for this experience to share my life with you and I don't know, maybe inspire and help somebody along the way. I'm watching so many different YouTubers that really just help me and inspire me. I'm currently going back and looking at what my client was looking for in an apartment. She wants something new, but yeah, that's kind of what goes on in my day as a locator. Locating is definitely gonna be the lifeblood I need to survive while I'm focusing on my business. So yeah, I just wanted to show you what my life looks like.